Yes, it is true. This is my first Mac computer ever. I'm probably one of the very few people alive that is even able to say that still. So let's talk about my experience with it, my thoughts, my likes, my dislikes, and all that jazz. To understand my experience, I need to give you some context. I am a filmmaker and I invested in this laptop because I'm looking to do heavy editing on the go as well as improve my workflow. My idea was to work from a hard drive so that I can operate between my PC back here and this laptop at any time, which is surprisingly working out a lot better than I ever thought it would. And now that you know that, the most important thing for me when it comes to this MacBook is how well it can handle the Adobe platform. So for me, I primarily use Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, Lightroom, and I can tell you it works pretty close to flawlessly. And I say close to flawlessly because my main camera is the Sony A7S III and the video files that come out of that camera are heavy. Any normal computer would probably struggle quite a bit with it, but this computer, I got the Apple M1 Max chip. It's doing pretty well. It still lags a little bit, but it's completely workable. I'm super happy with it. I couldn't ask for more to be honest in my experience. And when it comes to Photoshop and Lightroom, virtually no issue. Very happy on that end. On that note, since I work with cameras, having a direct SD card slot on the side here is insanely convenient. Just being able to pull my SD card out of my camera and throw it right into this Mac is crucial on the go. Not to mention that it has the original HDMI port as well and a couple of other USB-C ports. So that just makes the whole experience super fluid and efficient. One of the random things I really enjoy about this laptop is the MagSafe charger. It's a magnet for a charger and it's really sad satisfying to put it in there, pull it out, put it in there once again, pull it out. It's, it's fun. And speaking of the charger, what's really awesome about the battery life when it comes to this MacBook is that when I do heavy editing, it tends to last for one to two days. And when I'm not doing that, it tends to last for three to four days. So that's super long. And even better is this charger juices it back up to full power in what feels like an hour, hour and a half. So I'm always able to just go, go, go. And can we just take a second to talk about the display with its mini LED panels? It's crystal clear. It's so smooth to the eyes. I'm glued to it nine out of 10 times, which is pretty bad, but it's good for my workflow. It also has a 120 Hertz refresh rate, which makes functioning on this display Play super smooth and super fast. I'm not an avid gamer, but I have no doubt that gamers would absolutely love this laptop for a start at least. When it comes to the notch over here, right on top of the display of this MacBook, I've heard thoughts that people find it a distraction. They think it looks ugly, but in my opinion, honestly, it's not been a distraction at all. In fact, I think it actually is fine where it's at. It contains the webcam, the webcam that I've actually never used before. So let's try that right now. So this is the webcam video. By the way, the notch webcam on this MacBook is 1080p, so that's pretty good. My camera is over there saying hello to the camera. I want you guys to hear the audio. How does it sound to you? I think it should sound pretty good because the speakers that come out of this MacBook, or I guess they're in the MacBook, sound like a surround system sometimes. So pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, even though that was my first time using the webcam, it's making me pretty excited for Zoom calls. The quality is kind of insane. So there's two particular functions in this MacBook that I really, really enjoy, and I wanna share them with you because I've never experienced them outside of this MacBook. The first one is called Hot Corners. For those of you who don't know what Hot Corners is, if I swing to any one of the four corners on the display, it'll activate another useful function, function that I personally have chosen for my workflow. If I swing my arrow to the top left, I can navigate between multiple open tabs. Now, if I swing to the top right, if I have a bunch of tabs open, I'll be able to see the desktop no matter what. If I swing to the bottom left, it puts the screen to sleep. And if I swing to the bottom right, I get access to my notepad. So if I have any quick thoughts or whatever, I can write them down right away. The second function that I wanted to talk about is probably something that is normal for most MacBook users. But for me, it's a huge quality of life update. And that's the fact that I can open multiple files in the Finder as multiple different tabs. In my PC back here in the File Explorer, that's the equivalent to the Apple's Finder. I have to pin it to the quick axis and then there's just a lot of clicking between files so that can get annoying really fast. But in this case, it's so easy to move content from one file to another. So 
Heck yes. My overall experience with this MacBook has been, as you probably saw throughout the video, extremely positive. I really like this MacBook. I love it, quite frankly, way more than I thought I originally would. As someone coming over from Windows, coming over from Android, I got my first iPhone last December and it functions smoothly. It complements my PC, so my workflow has just been so amazing recently, and I couldn't ask for more. I really didn't think I'd have so many positive things to say. I looked for negative things, guys. I really looked for negative things, especially because I come from the bias of a Windows slash Android user, but it just it just blew me out the water. I, I love it, and I think I'm gonna be using this for years to come, definitely, no doubt. By the way, if you wanna see me unbox this Mac, my first impressions, where I called stickers stamps, I'll leave the video for that link right here. Other than that, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, I'd love to have you, and I will see you next Wednesday. Take care.